Before joining the computational biology program here at CMU, I did my undergraduation in biotechnology from India uh, in Amity University. And uh, in my undergraduation, I was basically doing a lot of experimental work. So I had zilch knowledge of computer science. I decided to join the program here at Carnegie Mellon because uh, by looking at various information available, the, this course provided a lot of interdisciplinary and collaborative work and a wide majority of courses which I was really interested in. While my master's over here, I did a lot of computer science courses and uh, since I did not have any computer science background before, so there was more stress on computer science courses on, uh, my, in my case. And uh, I also did a lot of statistical courses and um, the core courses also include uh, computational biology and genomics and uh, machine learning courses which are actually really helpful in doing research. Yes, I did do research here. Uh, I was uh, in my last semester, I op opted for a thesis option as my graduation. Uh, that was with Professor Shlomo Tassan in mathematics department at here at CMU. The project was uh, how to understand uh, uh, gene networks through expression data. So here I was basically uh, concentrating on microarray data analysis. Uh, this was based on a machine learning technique called principal component analysis and that was implemented through singular value decomposition. Uh, it really helped me a lot because uh, number one, I studied how to uh, deal with microarray data. I learned how to do scripting and uh, I also learned MATLAB. So overall, I'm still using all these skills till yet. Right now, I'm working as a medical scientist at University of Pittsburgh. Uh, I'm working with Professor Takis Beno's lab. Uh, my main uh, project over there is to analyze completely raw data. So every day, I deal with high throughput sequencing data, next generation sequencing data, and I try to process that data and analyze it through mathematical models, statistical analysis. Uh, one very interesting aspect of uh, my work there is that I am seeing how thermal dynamics can affect biological functions. To the prospective students, I would like to strongly recommend a lot of statistical courses to take while they are here. Uh, statistics is very important in research while you are, like if you are dealing with biological data or any any data that has been come from experiments actually. And also at least be proficient in one computer programming language.